Hey guys, it's Harry with a uh, another tutorial for uh, Xcode programming here. Um, I realized that uh, I sort of jumped into PHP and Xcode and all that uh, without ever doing a basics tutorial and that maybe some of you guys don't know what any of that means and you are completely clueless to this. So um, I'm just going to do a basics tutorial for C++ and Xcode and all that. So. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, you don't need Xcode for this. This is just a P or an, uh, a C++ tutorial. So you could be using any compiler right now. It's all the same. So you want to create a new project, uh, and you can make it for the iPhone or iPad, uh, or if you're not using it, just a regular old thing. So. I'm going to do this tutorial. Okay, um, so the first thing that you want to do when you open it, and you'll notice that um, mine is on the simulator 4.0, it doesn't matter, it's all the same, it'll work for you too. But so the first thing you want to do is go into your uh, viewcontroller.h file. Uh, and uh, once you go into that, you'll see this kind of looking file over here and so you want to go into your inf uh, interface implementation here uh, or creation and uh, we want to create an IB outlet uh, now the easiest way to create an IB outlet is well I mean the easiest way to display an object on the screen is with an IB outlet an IB outlet basically tells the computer that or iPhone or iPad or whatever that we have an object, and then once we open up uh, Interface Builder, um, and we are going to connect the object over here in our .h file to our view controller, and then we can do a bunch of stuff with that object. So, what we're going to do today is just uh, tell the computer to display uh, an image with a button press. So. Um, what I'm going to do here is create an IB outlet for a UI image view. So, an IB outlet is basically just declaring that we have uh, an outlet that we're going to put something on the screen. Then we want to put what we're going to put on the screen from our framework and our UI kit, which is automatically inputted or uh, included into. Uh, our header file of our view controller of any new view controller so if you look in here you can see everything that you can put in the view all the UI stuff UI for user interface so we're going to put a UI image view then you always want to put the little star asterisk thing I think it's called whatever um, and then the name which is called an image and now after every line if you're very new to this you have to put uh, I think it's a semicolon. Uh, okay, so, sorry, I don't know my letters at the keyboard very well. Then we want to create an IB action. Now, an IB action is basically like uh, when something happens. They're most commonly used with buttons. Uh, basically, so when you click a button, it sends this IB action over here. Uh, IB action to our .m file and it'll say the button was pressed what do I do now and we're gonna tell it what to do in our .m file which is right over here .h.m so let's just call it uh, display image and just for the sake of teaching you guys about bools in here I'm going to create a bool now you're like bool are you on drugs? Okay, no, I'm not on drugs. A bool is um, basically you can set it to yes or no. Uh, and a bool, uh, so let's just say we set the bool to yes in the view did load. I know it's a weird name, but uh, so in the view did load method in our dot m, um, we could set the bool to the image. Uh, is not displayed basically saying the bool is equals no 
and then when the button when the person presses the button if the bool equals no it'll display an image and then we set the bool to yes and then uh, if they've pressed the button and the image is up and the bool equals yes the image is up then we're going to take away the image very simple uh, okay so basically we just put bool uh, image uh, say viewable thing. There we go, viewable. Okay, so this is all the stuff that's going to go into your .h file. Now, uh, so when we go into our .m file, we'll hook up the stuff in the interface a little bit later. But so, like I said before, we're going to want to take our bool. Actually, first take your IB action and then just copy and paste it right there. It doesn't really matter where you put it, but yeah. So now go back into your .h, take your pool, and put it in your view did load method over here. So then we're going to want to say view so image view of uh, image viewable equals no because the image has not yet been put up on the screen. No. Uh, so when we press display image, now we're going to go into if statements. I'm covering all this stuff in one big bundle. Now, so display image, we're going to say, so an if statement is basically if the image viewable, you don't have to say equals equals yes. Uh, well, my, well, let's just do it for the sake of uh, making it look simple or for you guys. So if image viewable equals equals you you always have to say in an if statement double, uh, double times or two times equal this, or else it will set the uh, bool to equal. It won't just ask it if it's equal, it will tell it that it's equal. So image viewable equal if image viewable equals equals uh, no then display it else it is not viewable uh, so there I mean it is viewable so then undisplay it it's just that simple so now we gotta get into displaying it no okay so I believe we called it just image. So image dot image equals UI image image named. Now, whenever you create like text in parentheses, you put an at symbol before. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. Now, at parentheses, or I mean quotation marks, uh, and in here the image name. We don't have an image yet, so just leave that blank for now. And close the brackets or whatever they're called up in a little semicolon and then you want to tell it that image viewable equals yes now so just copy that and now we're going to say it's not viewable and so when you make the image not viewable we want to say that the image name is nothing so there's just nothing in there very simple. And so now we gotta get an image. Now let's just go to apple.com, get a quick image. Get the iPad. It's so pretty. Okay. So I'm just going to add it to my projects folder. Um Oh, what's this? Sorry. Uh, whatever. So I'm going to add it to my projects folder. Wherever the window went. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Okay. So our image is called product Wi-Fi dot JPEG. Actually, once you put it into your folder, you have to drag it into your project. I'm just going to drag it into resources. 